Alright, welcome to another um, battle submitted by one of our members, Subutai here. And the replay file is labeled Close Battle, so let's see how this goes. It's like on uh, his team here, he's playing as Hungary. So we got England over there and the Moors over there. I'm wagering that that's uh, France. Byzantines and the Papal States on the other side of the field here. Uh, map is grassy plain, even though we've got some nice scenery there in the back. That's pretty nice. So let's see how close this actually gets. Looks like he's got some hussars. Nice. A lot of Pavis crossbow militia here. Some good units, very protected against arrow fire. More hussars. Ooh, battlefield assassins. That's interesting. Excited to see those guys in action. England seems to be taking a bit of a defensive stance here. Let's hope he can hold the uh, hold the right flank for Subutai here. Well, let's see what mm, the Moors are up to. Nice. Yeah, that's interesting. They're all in loose formation. I wonder if he put them that way or if they're... Yeah, he probably put them like that. Alright, looks like they're still all positioning. Let's speed it up a bit, see if we can't get closer to the actual fight. setup phase. There we go. Alright. Ah. Some pikemen. Some, some Scots guard. Chivalric knights. Heavy infantry. Pike militia. Interesting. Definitely an interesting array against the forces of Hungary here, which seem to compose primarily of horses and uh, horses and archers, at least their battle line, whereas France is definitely invested in some very, very heavy, uh, heavy infantry and a lot of stopping power. The Byzantines have their Latin con. Interesting. I was expecting some cataphracts. Now those Christian guard were pushed back pretty quickly. It's got some nice ranged archers over here. So they just have this cross moment. Subutai meets, moves forward. Probably a right guess that France isn't gonna bother moving. They're uh, definitely equipped for a very defensive uh, fight there. Countering with his lancers, I see. He's got an eye on Subutai's hussars for sure. See how quickly these Pavis crossbowmen take down these Scots guards. Because I think in the long run. Oof! Is that the Byzantine general that fell? Already? What's going on? Oh! 
It was indeed. Look at that. They always slain upon the field. Huh. That bodes ill for him. He's still got a strong fighting force, though. Looks like they're really tearing into these Pavis crossbowmen, but already the Scots Guard here has been reduced to a lower number. They don't have as much protection as the Pavis men. And he hasn't even committed his full archer force yet. Oh, here's some lancers on the, the right here. Let's see. Now, oh. is he going to counter them in time? Yeah, there you go. Nice. I don't think he wanted to face that. Some Latin con on the left, but these hussars should provide enough of a deterrent. Ouch. Kept these Pavis crossbowmen from firing, though, so I suppose that's a that's a bonus, a little bit for Franz. Oof! Looks like the pikemen are getting thinned out here a bit too. Oh, and along with the knights too, those Pavis crossbowmen are deadly. I, uh, I fought in one of the tournaments we hosted once and went up against a fella who invested quite heavily in the Pavis Crossbowman. And I really wasn't even able to get to his line. Um, <laughs> as much as I tried, those they just tore through all the heavy infantry. I was moving to forward to counter his heavy infantry. and My knights were, of course, countered by the pikemen. Yeah, it, was a, it was a bit of a massacre. I got got quite heartily slaughtered. Oof. These guys are getting reduction a bit, but they're still all very eager, very ready. Some loyal troops, these uh, 26 men left, standing in the burned corpses of their comrades. Oof. There's some losses right there. Let's take a quick peek at what's going on in these other fights. It's like England has got a culver, and that's interesting. Nice, nice. Oof! There goes the Moorish general. That's not good for them. I suppose it brings a little more balance to the battle. Some routing desert archers. Looks like the conquistadors got around the back of the Moors. That's no good for the Moors. Oof. No good, no good at all. It's like Hungary and France are still duking it out with the missiles, but these pikemen are getting drastically reduced. Just look at that. <laughs> Looks like France and the Byzantines are going to try to come around the edge of England here, but Subutai is keeping them held with... Uh, Oh, nice move. Look at that. Look at that. Disguise the Croat Axemen within the ranks of the Light Calvary. I like that. wonder how it's going to work out. Uh, looks like they're uh, shaken, wavering. Ah, marvelous. Beautiful piece of maneuvering there. Well done. Well done. It's a shame the Lancers pulled out. I think he might have been able to assist a little bit. Looks like he pulled his other Latin con over here to help with the uh, English. Ooh. And Portugal comes to the rescue of the Byzantines there. Looks like Subutai takes care of a group of lancers. 
How's it going over here, Byzantines? Oof. Poor England. It's getting rather heavily flanked. Looks like Subodhi is trying to help him out. Uh, but it looks like the Lancer is going to chase him off a bit. Ouch. Ouch, ouch. And with all those cavalry, those retinue longbowmen aren't going to do much. No stakes put in front of them either. Ouch. Yeah, it looks like the Moors are done for too. Look at that. Some English men are still standing, still holding up. I wonder if they'll break the Byzantine line before these conquistadors can come back and mess them up. Move the pikemen forward some. Where's this Scots guard? Are they all dead? <laughs> oh, they're buried. Hidden behind the pikemen. That's pretty clever. Oh. Hmm. Full on charge against the Croats. That's painful. Conquistadors are at a stop now. Hussars in the rear. Freed the heavy billmen. Well done. I don't know if it's going to be enough to save the uh, the English, though. Those Templars would have to do some pretty hard work. Might keep them off the right flank here for a while, though. Oof. So there goes some Conquistadors routing. That's good. Heavy billmen are doing their job. Knights Templar seem to be doing what they need to do as well. Let's put some really good use into use to those hussars. Definitely one of the greater strengths of the um, of Poland and Hungary are definitely the hussars. They're fast moving, but they also have some really good, uh, really good combat stats. The battlefield assassins there. Like men lancers. Oh, looks like he's moving in for the attack here. Subutai taking full uh, advantage over the. Uh, disorganized ranks of the enemy here. But. Oof. Oh, hey, a charge into the Pavis crossbow. Nice. Too bad there's some Byzantine spearmen there. It's going to be painful. Ah, so he's just moving forward more slowly. Still got plenty of heavy infantry back here. Hmm. Oh, here's a charge against the Hussars. Let's see? Pulls them out just in the nick of time. These dismounted conquistadors are pretty. pretty strong units for sure. Mighty Lord, or a military genius can bring us victory from this debacle. Hmm. Seventy percent, fifty-seven percent. Pretty close. But they sure do have a lot of units arrayed against Subutai. There's new longbowmen wearing down on those dismounted conquistadors, but there's only so much that can be done. Oh, here we go. These guys might route. A heavy route of all of those units would really help out right now. France 
He's very cautious on his approach here. Which I suppose is keeping him alive. Hmm. Hussars went over there. I wonder if they'll make it back in time to charge the rear. Looks like. Boom. Shaken, wavering, fighting, defeat seems certain. A rout. Well done. Continuing the fight. Croat Axemen coming in on the rear of the French Knights. Oof. Another rout. Brutal. Hussars pestering again. Oh, there goes the last of them. Byzantines moving in salad formations. Oof. England allows his general to be attacked by pikemen. Luckily, that breaks the formation. Sugutai moves in his knights. Goodbye, pikemen. Hmm. It's Templar coming around the rear. Those Varangians have got to be a little unnerving. <laughs> We're at 8067 right now. Oh, it's getting fully enveloped. It's no good. No good at all. There we go. Let's watch some battlefield assassins do their do their work. Oof! Cutting right through those pyramids. Oh, coming in on the flank of the Byzantine charge. Nice, nice. Feudal knights trying to hold off the Frenchman. Ooh. Got some guys on his flank. Could really use those Knights Templar right now, I imagine. A nice charge right into the rear of the Pike Militia here of Portugal would be quite devastating. I don't know if he'd get him there though. Fight! <laughs> Fight, Hungary! Fight, Sukutai! Hmm. Ouch, ouch. It's a tricky thing in these team battle games, you know. That guy gets stabbed in the back. Guess there's no honor among knights on the battlefield. <laughs> Bulgar fight. Look at these boys over here, just kind of bravely holding out. <laughs> Battlefield assassins are really quite effective. They seem to input a bit of fear against the enemy as well, causing some very significant and very helpful routes. Some feudal knights coming in on the rear of the pike militia here. That's good. Very good. Nice. Don't really see any surviving cavalry though, but now it's 81 enemies killed. Knights Templar have gotten in on the, uh, nice, on the Byzantine Guard Archers. That's keeping these guys occupied at least. Dismounted field of knights. They still haven't routed. Shucks. They might soon, though. They're getting pretty hard on. 
There we go. There we go. Yeah. Hey, those guys have been routed. He's holding. He's holding strong. It's like he... Ooh. There goes the French general right there. Looks like Subudai's got some uh, dismounted field of knights over here. Kind of pinning down these archer groups. That's good. Oh, we're now at 92% to 88%. He's got some free units of feudal knights here. Nice. He said close battle. He wasn't kidding. I still don't know the outcome here. I guess we'll find out together. It's like he's withdrawing his Byzantine guard archers. Kind of wish England would come in here. Come into some assistance. I have his crossbow man in the back. <laughs> Fine. Man, literally, one guy. <laughs> Ooh, there he goes. Ah, here comes his buddies. Looks like the Scots Guard are gonna move in to assist their buddies here. These dismounted knights are still pushing against the, the Byzantines. The problem is, these Byzantine guard archers and the uh, Scots Guard are both very versatile units. I know that the Byzantine Guard archers have almost as much armor as a heavy knight. Um, and the Scots Guard, I feel, is pretty strong too. An unfortunate thing with these kind of replays is you can't tell which units have been like given armor or morality up morale upgrades uh, morality upgrades i'm pretty sure they don't have any they're standing on a battlefield cutting each other down I'm, there's very little morality going on around here Oof. some knights routing that guy will die soon Battlefield's assassins rushing in to their assistance. England holding back with their cavalry and their longbowmen. 96 to 92. Hmm. Now these battlefield assassins have done some very, very brutal work. They've really, really brought the battle to a close part. That guy, though. Ugh, there goes the last of them. Oh, the general. He's fighting. Ooh, there goes his general. Ah, shucks. So very, very close, though. He was not kidding. At all. Look at that destruction. Let's see. I want to see that massive pile over there. And then we'll go zoom in on the uh, the last stand of the British. Suey. It's like the... Uh, oh, that's the English charge against the Byzantines, yeah. New longbowmen. Like, oh, are they charging? Looks like they're charging. Charging the Byzantine guards. Rawr! For England! For the king! Oh, here, oh, right into the side. That's. That's going to be unfortunate. Lancers come in too. That it's the route of the English longbowmen. With the cavalry in their flank and that's that. Let's see how these Knights, knights Templars do. 
feel as he's just elongating the battle. He should charge. End it. Die honorably. Or at least alleviate the slaughter of his archers. <laughs> oh well. They are, after all, Knights Templar. Oh, here we go. Thrun, 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 thrun. Coming up against the Lancers. Sui. 99 to 93%. Ooh. They went down fast. 99% to 93. That is indeed a v oof. Very, very close battle. Quite enjoyable. Quite enjoyable. Subutai had to switch to a hasty defense there. With the remnants of the final of the other allies coming in against him, but I'd say he fought it very, very well. Some very good maneuvers. Everybody else fought quite well as well. The Moors seem to have died rather quickly, which allowed the... Oh, whoever was over here, I forget now. To bring in some... Oh, Portugal. To bring in some assistance for the Byzantines. After that, Hungary could only keep them at bay for so long. So it looks like the final is going to come around to, to 99. 99% um, of the Allies' units dead, of Subutai's allies. And 95. Oh, and of course the percentages change when they find out who's healed and whatnot. Not bad. Not bad at all. Very close. Well, thanks for watching. Um, be sure to check out our our Steam group page if you want to get in on battles like this, or if you're interested in playing the Hot Seat campaign by email. Uh, be sure to check out our Steam group page as well. And yeah, feel free to enjoy more videos on YouTube or just enjoy whatever activity you have planned next. Bye.